Okay, so Clovis coming to the event here at C3. Why Why do you think, you know, you guys get a lot of national exposure. You're one of the best teams. You're the best team in California for five years and then runner-up the last two years. But why would Clovis come to C3 and why would you bring guys down? Uh, we've been training all summer and took advantage of opportunity for the kids to, you know, check out how the college process works and let the college coaches see our kids and kind of break, the, break up the monotony of our summer program. Uh, we've been going pretty hard and this gives them a chance to kind of come you know, show what we've, we've been doing this, this summer and getting them out there. So it's been a great, great event. Yeah, talk about the event a little bit. C3 here, College Combine, Combine at Calvary Chapel and en Enemy Waters, I guess I would say as well. But, um, you know, you guys are here. Um, what has this been like for you? What it's were the first class event. It's, uh, colleges have been great. The clinicians have been great. The kids love them. They've been talking about the different ones that they like the best. And, and then uh, facilities are great. I, I mean, not many times you can look above and watch the, the watch the whole thing go down and, and see what the kids are learning and talk to the coaches one on one. And it's been a first class event. Real impressed. Looking at you guys, um, I mean, you got a great tradition. You know, in the last 20 years, it, it, it's been off the hook. I mean, it's been state title after state title, runner up finish, champs, multiple yeah. champs every year. Um, why does Clovis, you know, like, you don't really need to come to this event. That's, I guess, my thing is, like, or is it about your guys just getting better? Yeah, I mean, just kind of come and wrestle different competition. We've been wrestling in the Central Valley, and uh, we've, we wrestle the same teams a lot. But, I mean, that makes us better because they're really good teams. And we just wanted to come and, you know, take a break from, I guess, the Fresno Heat. Right. Yeah, man. What is going on up uh, there? Chamberlain told me. Chamberlain's like, our, yeah, our just don't go outside. AC, so that's good. Right? <laughs> yeah. No, just break it up and, and kind of showcase what we've been learning this year and, and work with different kids and and then get that college exposure. And not all colleges can't always come to us, so we felt like it was you know, a good chance to go to somewhere else and, and let them kind of show what they've been doing. And, Clovis grinds, man. I mean, you guys a lot of, got a lot of guys that go into the Midwest. Yep. All those schools do. You know, when I look at not just Clovis, Clovis West, East, yeah. South, North, South Central, South. I'm, I know, but I know uh, Buchanan. Sure. You got all these schools right in that that same it's a unified school district, isn't it? It is. It's yeah. a unified school district. You guys grind. They're not afraid to go and, and and go to the Midwest. They don't normally stay all the time in California. Yeah, we've been to New Jersey the last two years. Ohio before that. I did that. It was, it was negative 10 degrees at Top Gun. Yeah. We're Crazy, to, though. We're taking a few guys to Ironman this year. So oh, are you? Experience and, and yeah, we, we like to travel. You know, we try to bring in people to our tournament as well, but we do like to travel and we like to... We like to get the grind and prepare us for our postseason. Our postseason's a grind, so we build up for that and take a couple weeks down and then right back into the grind. So I think it prepares us. I don't think you know a soft season all year is going to prepare you for the final kick of California State. So I think it builds us and it makes us better. Do you think that you guys have got the access to coaches that you wanted here? You, know, you got West Point, Buffalo, some guys who are kind of not in the region, yeah, but you've got absolutely. some access to coaches. Did you like the access to coaches? Oh uh, yeah, we did. I mean, there's some local ones, obviously, and some you know multi-level. So we have D1s here, we have D2s, um, and NIA, junior college even showed up today. So it gives the kids a, a good variety. Not every kid's a D1 kid, not even on our team or any team really, but it gives them an opportunity to be able to talk to the coaches and say, you know, this is what I'm looking at, these are the different degrees that I'm interested in, and, and then they can kind of pick and choose who they want to look at. But it's been good being able to talk to them and say, hey, this kid might be interested in your school. I have one kid that I didn't know of, but his dad went to a college that's here, and it's like, he was telling me in the van ride back after practice yesterday, he's like, yeah, my dad went there. I'm like, there you go. It could be a family thing, you know? And so it was kind of neat, and it's a good exposure for him. All right, Coach, you got anything else for me? Hey, thanks, sure. for, the, thanks for the time. Thanks. Safe travels to you guys back up in the Central Valley. Thanks.